I want to make sure they hear me. I'll do the. Oh, it's charging. Uh, go hear you. Here, I guess. Yeah. Here, you can use my Bible. All right. It has good tabs. Yeah, I know it does. All right. So, hi, everybody. Uh, it's been a long time since I, I've had a Bible and... Uh, was, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> it's been a long time since I had a Bible and felt that I could speak one word. Quote, unquote, for God. Because... You know, our anniversary was today, and I really, really, if I just, it's hard to put into words when you, like, are legitimately in love with someone, how much they mean to you. And then when you mess up, because of whatever reason, you know, mental illness is my reason. You know, it's not an excuse, it's a reason, though. Uh... It makes you feel even more that you want to repent of whatever you can repent of to not do that type of shit to the people you love. And um, these years, huh? If you want to... Re I mean, it, Gucci Trolls said, mine and my husband's anniversary is today, too. Happy anniversary. Oh, my God. Whoa. Happy anniversary to you, too, babe. Are you... You're a 3-7 mayor? Okay. That's awesome. No, you're marked. Like, you have to understand the 3-7 thing. Just look into the numerics of 3-7, okay? There's a lot of spirit stuff behind that. I don't want to go crazy into that stuff. Uh, I don't think I'm worthy now to speak, okay? Mm -mm. I really don't. You are worthy because you helped me find Christ. All right. I, I, and I very much thank so, you. So I'm looking forward to this because I am your number one fan. All right. So preach. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm your pastor too. We just <laughs> happen to fuck, you know? <laughs> That's the deal. I don't have a fucking congregation. I am a reverend, officially, under American Marriage Ministries. You can look me up. Okay? I am an ordained reverend. But I don't have a congregation to hold accountable nothing. If I still had my channel, I would. But I don't. So I do not have a congregation to lead so my life is my life, and uh, what's holy to me is holy to me, and what's righteous to me is righteous to me, and what's evil to me is evil to me. So there you go. But I do not, because Paul would tell me that. You, you kind of, you, people like atheists will say, well, you're just making up your own morality. No. The Christian has liberty. This is what Paul said, that, that Christians have liberty to do anything, literally, the question is, what's expedient? What is good? What is holy? That is what you should do as a Christian, as a believer in Jesus. I always try that. But inevitably, what you're going to find out is that you're fucking human. And that it's impossible. Now, in the old days, on my original channel, there's no way that I would say fuck like that and not go backwards and say... I'm really sorry about that. I really kept a clean mouth, actually. Like, very few videos. I I don't think, maybe none. I don't know. No, you never cussed. It I'm, was shocking to hear you cuss for the first time. Exactly. Because that was, there was a reason for that. Because holy communication, if you're uh, in the leadership role at a church, is something that should be followed. Because it's just societally the norm. To not have your child walk around saying fuck you and fuck that person. <laughs> with, like in the Karen videos with some of these kids that are little babies. They're not in uh, three feet high. And the kid goes, fuck you, motherfucker. And then you're like, wait a minute. The parent, are you going to say something about that? Because it's not proper. There's a reason for that in society. Because it just is that way. I happen to believe that 
saying the word fuck is not that offensive. Because it literally is an abbreviation for a thing that means like fornication under the king and stuff like that. And it's, that's all it means. It doesn't mean anything to do with anything that's against God. In Alien 3, the guy says shit. And, and the guy goes, hey, you're swearing. And he goes, shut the hell up. There's no reason not to say shit. It ain't against God. Exactly. I don't even think God damn is bad. Because you're saying... God damn that thing that's happening. You're literally asking God to damn it because it's bad. To cause it to stop. Yes. But people make God damn a bad word. Why? Now, if you say damn God, that's bad. And I just cussed. Forgive me, Lord. Amen. Okay. I don't get that stuff. There's weird language shit that will never make sense. But with all that said, because I'm getting off on weird tangents... I don't even think I'm worthy to speak now, but I feel the Lord would want me to because I the, the, the years of this shit with harassment changed me. I was on YouTube however many years and I didn't get anything like this. Mainly probably because I was a single guy and men rule the world. I'm white. I'm Anglo-Saxon, Protestant. <clears throat> My family have Masons. Uh, I'm the establishment. I am, I am what ruined the planet, essentially. But anyway, uh, it changed me. The Hangouts. That really warped. I don't know what it did to me. It was almost like it was a spirit of obsession. Where, oh, what's going to happen in the next hangout? And it's like, wait a minute. Why do you care about this? This has nothing to do with the gospel. This has nothing to do with what your original purpose was with your channel, which the God, Lord's blessing, you have like 11,000 subs which back then was pretty damn good, especially for prophecy, because there wasn't any big prophecy people on YouTube. Like Steve Quayle, and uh, he didn't have, he didn't have, he had no channel yet. Uh, the majority of Bible prophecy people had no channel. So I became the Bible prophecy guy. I was one of, I was one of the bigger ones. So I was blessed in that way. And my audience was literally all people just watching for Jesus coming in the clouds. They were really beautiful people. And I made connections with, with people like Minister Paul. He's still around. I don't, I, I need to, I, I want to get my own, another YouTube channel. I would too. love to speak to Minister Paul. He's a sweet guy. He knows you. Oh, God, no. Yeah. There's so many bad rumors about me. Yeah, you're demonized in the community, and I really don't, I don't know where it came from, and I really would, I'd stand up. I think it's probably because I outed Bible Thump and Wayne Nut and his little affair he had on his I wife. Don't, no, this was, this, no, that's, that's after. You were demonized before. I don't know who did it. I don't know if it may have been Ted Hoggard. Ted, no, Ted Mike Hoggard. I don't know if it was Mike Hoggard's church or Pastor Paul Begley's church. Maybe you called him a fake? No. <coughs> Probably Steven Anderson. I really ticked him off. Did you? Yeah, I said he's blaspheming God with his hatred. Oh, that would explain Josh then. Because Josh is a Calvinist. Okay. There is it. That's it. That's, that's why Josh turned. Josh is a guy that was like a brother to me. Yeah, he and he started learning how to hate the leaven of the Pharisees uh, as fuck Jesus me. put it to. That guy, that breaks my fucking heart, that one with that guy, because I loved him. And uh, he comes to me in a text, and I'm putting it out because it's really, it hurts me. And the church should know about it. He comes at me in a text and he's like, what are you doing with that demonic, satanic woman? 
And I said, well, wait a minute. Okay, this is my spouse, number one. He disrespected her. And I said, I don't appreciate that. And I'm saying that as your brother. He, like, just offended me. Then he came back and he said to me, y'all, come on, Jason, you know about this woman. She's satanic. And I said, I, then I got really mad, actually. And I called him. And, and I, I said to him, you need to explain to me why the hell you're talking like this. And, I, and he said, you've seen the stuff about her, that she's a fucking satanic. He, didn't, he doesn't really cuss. Uh, maybe you watched G Man, who kept maybe saying, kept calling me. He did watch. He what did watch Gary's video? Shanny yeah. for Satan. Yeah, yeah. He it probably got it from Gary. Yeah, because he really respected Gary. What he did with the Black Hebrew Israelites, <laughs> he really respected him. No, that is to be respected. I, he was I, doing it so he could get money. I don't from care. Christians. I don't care. I'm not going to piss on that because it's worth something. Okay, Ugh. don't you piss on God's shit. Okay. Because the Israelites are not right about their doctrine, okay? I'd be cool with them, I'm no. pretty sure. Do you, do you know what they say about white women? Stop. Okay? Don't shit on that shit of G-Man's. I that's... think, all, all honesty, it's all putting on an act. Women have come out about the abuse they went under. I'm not afraid of them. I never was. I don't care. I've spoken to you them should. so many times. They're just if you're like an advocate nothing. for women. Oh, I agree. That stuff is is horrible, but that's not every black Hebrew Israelite is I like that. I say that, but there is a problem within that community. And they know There's it. a problem in every community dealing with Why that. are you defending them? I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm saying what's factual. Don't piss on G-Man shit with that. It's God stuff. Okay, well, you know what? He's full of shit. No, he's not. Not with what he's teaching. G-Man's full of shit. Yes. He's an asshole. And he fucked us over real bad. Yes, yeah. that's true. I, I've known so many black people who Israelites. I don't have a problem with them. They do what they do. Let them be who they are. I'm cool with them. Whatever. It is what it is. I I like actually I for when I really got into the uh, G Man shit and uh, uh, who else? Laron. What was his name? Laron <laughs> Campbell. That's fucking funny. That's fucking funny. Holy shit, Laron. <laughs> Hi, Yoshi. <laughs> huh? Okay. <laughs> I can't see anything. That's awful. I'm really blind. So, anyway, <laughs> I can see. I can see. I'm going blind. I can see. I can see. I'm going blind. Uh. So, with all that said, all that stuff I just said. Uh. You realize you're human, and, 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 and like, it, uh, we're all human, except if there's aliens, whatever, and they live underwater or whatever. That's you know, awesome, um, but they were here first, apparently. Mm -hmm. That's probably why they don't, they don't fuck with us, because, like, they're here first, and they've seen us mature from, like, being in armies, killing each other with swords to, like, blowing each other up. And they're like, I'm not fucking with that shit. We're pacifists here. Yeah. So, like, the mermaid people or the Jar Jar Binks, I don't know. Maybe they look like Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. Maybe maybe it wasn't uh, computer animation, but... Maybe like, there was one in a real movie which would have been cold skin with fucking fish cunt. Oh, you know? dude, yeah. Maybe that was an Maybe. actual Atlantean, you know. What was that movie called? Cold Skin. Cold Skin, yeah. That a That's movie. a really weird fucking movie. No, I like it a you lot. You can see that on Tubi, by the way. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Where were we going with this? We dropped off. Yeah, well, we... Okay, so... Aliens, whatever. Uh... My... We're all human. We have fallen nature, and, and we have we don't have an you know 
Chuck Missler said, I think once we don't have like AIDS, like we don't have that problem unless you do, you know, we have a SIN problem. That that's how we're broken. We got the sin issue, which is not having to do with saying fuck. It has nothing to do with that. Sinning against your brother is is fucking them over. It's treating the poor with no regard. It's harming others. Yeah. When you know you can help them. We have a sin issue. And the only way that that's wiped away is by Christ's blood. That's it. If you don't have that, then we're done. Because the planet's dying. Can I add something? Yeah. Now, if you want the powers of God, you got to look at what the Bible says and do it, or it's not going to work. Oh, read your Bible and do it. Says, oh. Like, for instance, you're praying for something and you want it, right? It's just not about just praying and asking God for whatever you want. Yeah. You have to thank him first that you've already received it. Yeah. And then it will become reality. Yeah, and that's the secret. And, and that, like uh, G Man, we we I I read it to him. It's in Matthew, whatever, you know. I read it to him, and it's verbatim what the secret says. And I said to him, "What are you going to do with that? Because that's the secret taught by Jesus." And he just goes, "That's not it's, that's not what it said." Oh, really? It's literally telling you to believe what you have before you have it. And that's that is manifesting is yep. what they call it. There's also the story of Jesus with the apostles, and they're like, our, 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 what we're doing isn't working. The, mm -hmm. the gifts aren't working. And he's like, that's because you have to fast first. Yeah. Before certain, you do it. Certain demons require fasting to expel. Yes. Yes. That's true. That's the deal. Here's another thing that helps get you the powers of God huh. and get the Holy Spirit within you. Every time you eat bread or drink grape juice or wine, you think about Christ and his blood and his body and thank him for it. Yeah. That, 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 and that goes to like the mass, you know, the Catholic mass, they believe in trans, trans, uh, substantiation, which is the doctrine of the Catholic church that says that when the priest blesses the bread and wine, it literally turns into the blood and body of Christ that you then consume. That's cannibalism, folks. No. We're not doing that. It's a spiritual thing. Yes, Jesus always talked in analogies. Yeah. <laughs> wine and bread is his body and blood. He isn't a zombie vampire. I hate to disappoint the atheists. No. No. We're not talking about that. It's a sacrament, and sacraments are, are, are holy things. That have, It's a sign. It's a symbol. A token uh, of remembering him. That's what it's meant to be. But if you got, if you got no Christ, you're done. I'm going to start sounding like Rand. If you don't have Christ, you're fucking done. Okay, there's a lock on the door to heaven. Yeah. And and I it, I don't care. This is for somebody that needs to hear this. I don't give a shit what you think. The Arabs now are confessing. And there's a Karen video out there of this. <coughs> she's an Arab German woman. And they're arresting her and she's screaming, Isa, Isa, Isa. I never heard that in my life. You have Arabs now calling on Jesus Christ. Okay, you need that name, and I don't care what anybody says to you. Otherwise, there is a lock on the door. It, his he has. Oh, should I tell the many names he has? Jesus, Isa, Yeshu, Yesu, Yezu. Um. <laughs> oh Lord. Yeshua. Yash. Ye yeah. Yahushua. Yahushua. Yeah. Yeah. That's another pronunciation. Some would say Yahuda. Yahuda. That's actually Judas. 
Okay. That pronunciation with the T eight, the Yahuda, that's Jude, Judas. Thank you. For or that. or Judah. Oh. Judah's very important to us being forgiven Jew. Yeah, he's of the tribe of Judah. Well, if you look at the sacrifice that's deep within the Bible, uh, in the Old Testament, in the Torah, you would know about the sacrifices and what they mean. Yeah. There was always two sacrifices. Correct. Always two sacrifices. Jesus sacrificed himself, and not only that... Judas hung himself. Judas hung himself on a tree. We're going to get... Okay. He took the curse. Yeah, this is pretty deep shit, though. Yeah. I don't know if you want to put your foot in there, because that's... Oh, I don't mind. All right. Well, no, I'm saying for the audience. I don't know if they're going to start... Oh, Lord, don't, don't. I'm very spiritual. They're, they, people can be very quick to throw stones, though. They... They can, but because they can Because they call you a heretic real quick. They can call me a heretic if they want. I believe in Jesus Christ. Because we're not gonna, we're not talking about co-messiahship between Judas and Jesus. We're not talking about that. It's deeper than that. Yes. It's not co-messiahship. There's one messiah, it's Jesus Christ. Yes, there is. That's it. Yes. Judas, though, played the role of the scapegoat. Yes. And there is meaning behind that. And the scapegoat goes back to Abraham and Isaac mm -hmm. and that sacrifice. Absolutely. And, and what 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 did God do? He, he provided the lamb. He provided the lamb mm -hmm. to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. So Isaac didn't have to be sacrificed. Correct. Hence, you get Jesus Christ coming and having to pay the price on the cross. For us. Yes. God. Us, us lowly pieces of shit. Mm-hmm. How about that picture of, of the hole in the clouds with, God, with God, oh, the you, face? Oh, you can stop, talk about that. Yeah, that's it. There was a picture, I think, on Instagram or something. That's all we you look at anymore, I think, is Instagram. So it had to be Instagram or YouTube. It could have been YouTube. Uh, but it was a hole in the cloud. <laughs> and the face was literally like, what the fuck are you? Mm -hmm. Like, why did I do this? right i.e making us that's what in my reference <laughs> and in genesis 6 he repented of it that's right in genesis 6 he said this is a failed thing i repent of making man <laughs> i was your anniversary present <laughs> huh what's the deal <laughs> Just fucking sus as fuck, dude. Jules is funny as shit. <laughs> See, I she was when we were friends for like two weeks. She's fun as fuck. Yeah, I think she's great. <laughs> she's fun. I know, man. She's like, I'm gonna throw you in the car with me, and we're gonna go to Taco Bell. I'm like, all right, honey. Oh man, I haven't had Taco Bell in freaking forever. Yeah, she, Jules seems awesome. Like really funny. That's right. She's a funny chick. Uh, you know what they need to bring back the next melt? Like seriously, Taco do you Bell. Think? Why'd you get rid of the next melt? It's not that hard to make. I'm gonna give them my face for a little bit. All right, boo boo. Because I think that's fair. They should get my face. All right, lover. You want to give me some uh, uh, satisfaction? Da -da -da. I can't get no. No, no, no. I'm trying to do something here. Sorry, guys. Okay, this is going to work, I think. Wait. Uh, there's something good here, I know. I know there's something good here. Huh? I always put it up <laughs> against the ashtray. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, that's the deal. Hi guys, oh my god. I'm sorry. I ha I have had the worst headache I have had in years. I'm sorry. I'm going to try cuz I you guys are cool. It, it like 
I don't know if people are deciding <laughs> that they don't want to harass. What are you laughing at? What? I told you God was going to punish you. Huh? Oh, yeah, the headache. <laughs> yeah, Shani and me had a nice uh, fight. You know, it happens. <laughs> and 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 that I guess that's my payment is the the headache. <laughs> See what is going through his head right now is God damn why is she always always right? Yeah, you are though. <laughs> you are. I love you. I love you too. It's love is. Beautiful. <laughs> Here's Shani's Bible. This is her. She uses it. You can tell. This is Shani's Bible. It's the size of a phone book. Cause it's, and it's tabbed. You got the tabs. That's beautiful. But it's big letters. See? These big boys. That's beautiful. I love that Bible. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, it's a beautiful. It's got flowers on it. Shani got this uh, at a... Barnes & Noble? I believe in Colorado. What well, what county? Where is that? Gun Barrel. Yeah. Gun Barrel, Colorado scripture. Okay, so I opened a Joe. God. <laughs> Here's the deal. I really don't feel worthy to speak for God. And I don't want to... I don't think I ever spoke for him in a sense that I'm fucking infallible. Never. No. Absolutely not. Obviously not. Because I, I had a vision of an O. A glowing O. When I was going to bed back in 2010, and I was convinced, not 2010, it was like 2009, 8, something like that. And I was asking Jesus, I'm saying, Jesus, are you trying to tell me something? Are you trying to tell me that, that Barack Obama is the Antichrist? And the O glowed really like intensely. And I took that as, yeah, Barack Obama is going to be the Antichrist. So I was one of those guys out there that really believed that shit. And Johnny Cleck too, you know. We're in the same boat on that. And uh, I really don't think that was accurate. I think that was put on him by people like me. And I that's horrible, you know. I feel bad about that. I believe what God's message to me was with that vision was that it's going to be a U.S. president. So you're on the right track in that sense. The seat of what you're going to call the, the man of sin is going to be the United States president. That was what he was telling me. Not Obama in particular. It was like the sun. It was like a black sun glowing that I saw in the vision. And I took that as Obama because it's an O. Wrong. I think it has to do with the sun god, like Ra, uh, Sol Invictus, uh, Constantine's god. And then you got the god of forces, which is Trump's god. Apollo. That's crazy. Donald Trump, it literally says this as a prophecy of the man of sin, the Antichrist. Do you want to call him? I think at the seat of the Antichrist is the Pope. Okay, these terms are all fucked because there's been so many schools of different Bible prof prophecy Just teachers. Just look what Donald John Trump means. Well, we're not even going to go there. <laughs> but you could say that his last name being Trump, it's a small Trumpet. And Donald hence, means ruler of the world. Hence, the little horn. It says in Revelation that there's a beast with seven horns. And the last part of it is a eighth little horn comes up. Donald's last name literally means little horn. Yes. A small trumpet, if you will. While his first name means ruler of the world. And guess what else? He has a little peepee. -pee. <laughs> 
That was meant to humble him. It didn't work. Yeah, exactly. That that's right. If you you know, and he shits his pants. That was meant to humble him too, but that didn't do that. Yeah, there's that too. And he's gotten sued, but that hasn't freaking humbled him either. So how do you how, how do you humble this guy? I'd say that's an unhumbleable situation. His 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 egotism is so. It's insane. There's no words for how I there. I don't think maybe the Caesars of Rome. Yes, could compare to his egotism. Like Caligula. Yeah. No, not on the level. Well, yeah, yeah, because he was worshipped. He was demanding worship at the end of his, and then they stabbed him and threw him down the aqueduct. But yeah, good. see, okay, for the mature Christians that know that 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 things are lawful, if you want to watch it, because it's extremely dirty and pornographic, uh, Caligula is a very interesting film. It really is. And try if you're going to watch it, get the unrated, the original cutting floor cut of it, and the cover is like a bunch of women having an orgy. Awesome. Anyway... Call me Rasputin, whatever. Uh, watch a documentary about Rasputin if you want to. S he's one of the most interesting guys in history, I think. And he was not evil at all. Just look into him. Uh, I don't feel worthy to speak. Like, I, w I would open right now and I'd probably go to something to teach it. It opened up to Job. Yeah, I know. Job, he thought he was unworthy, too. Job 5. No, he was arrogant. He he was like, you know. Moses. Who am I, Lord? Well, yeah, that Moses. Yeah, but Job was like kind of. To talk for you. If it was supposed to be a porn film, that's why Penthouse produced it. Yeah, that's right. It's a good film. I mean, they say it's one of the worst films ever made. And I'm he like. He knows who I am. Malcolm McDowell, yeah. <laughs> I, I have to put together those cameos and then put it on our Revan Shanty YouTube. Yes. With the with the, with our karaoke. Happy anniversary. Thank you, Bradley. Thank you. What's the deal with the chat here? I don't get it. Is it on the latest thing? Whoa. Whoa. Comment comments off. No, put them back on, man. What I didn't do that. Oh. Okay. I appreciate the anniversary thing. Because I love Shani a lot. I mess up, though. And I hate it. It's fucked up, you know? Bipolar is... Uh, no, nah, I wouldn't want no one to have this. No one. What's our cash app? Oh, it's this. Thank you. Our cash app is this. Let me put it here for you. I'm just going to put the cash tag. And uh, you, yeah, none of us are perfect. That's true. Gucci, I hope you're doing good. Gucci trolls, you're awesome. We love you here. Our cash tag is right there, and I'll pin it if I can. I don't. I don't know, know if you can pin it. Pin comment. Oh, you can. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Okay. That's that's our cash app there, guys. If you want, God bless you. Thank you. You know, God is good, and He puts people in our path that are so kind. You know, people come and go, and then they stab us in the back and shit and whatever. But but He always <laughs> sends more kind people. You know, that are always there to really help us with with just basic needs, like basic shit, like toilet fucking paper. Like I'm talking, like just basic shit. You know. Yeah. I love that film. Weird, awkward seventies film are many things like Zardo and Tommy. Yeah, Rogue, Rogue Ananasi. Yeah, I loved it. Love you both too. Glad you lived your life tonight. Yeah, we're happy to be here. This is fun. Like I do. I like streaming when there's nice people. I and I'm not going to get triggered bipolar. It's not funny at all. I uh, I get triggered bipolar and then I start saying things like like horrible shit. And I really, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that to Shani. I don't want to do that to anyone. My marriage is failing. 
Oh my god. Okay. Wait a minute. Carry this demonetized channel. <laughs> That's a good username. I don't know anything about nothing, but I think it's funny. Because it couldn't happen to a better person, you know? And cheers. Good for you. You know, you know how to make content, that's for sure, don't you? That's a good thing. YouTube goes, yeah, we like you. Sure. But but eventually you're going to get to the point where YouTube is like, well, maybe we need to start freeing up some uh, server space. It might be time to start taking the duplicate content off the internet, you know. Maybe these people, little videos in the corner going, oh, look at this video, that's someone else's copyrighted content under fair use. Oh, it's all fair use because it's transformative. You still need permission, don't you? Yeah. We could have a huge lawsuit. Okay. Lots of bullshit. Okay. Lots of bullshit, folks. With an uppercase B. Massive bullshit. So, this book uh, will tell you everything you need to know. Hello, I miss you guys. Sorry, but yeah, blinging things. How are you? We had to be gone for a little bit because that stuff with, with Ashley was like, ugh. There was way too much. Oh my God, it was so stupid. Mm. I had an affair with Rev. No, you didn't. I <laughs> had I was literally, the most I talked to her was about uh, stuff with her ex. You were weird. the one sending the porn shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. But that was a little... And you were told several times not to do that. Yes. But you did it anyway. Like, sending me a pic of freaking Cyrus's... How... That's gross. Oh, my God. Okay. Can we talk about that for a second? Because, look, you guys have to start realizing something. That Shani has standards. You guys are going to King Cobra and stuff and being like, yeah, Shani and you should hook up. You guys, she has standards, okay? Cyrax and fucking King Cobra. No. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Totally got uh, get you guys needing a break. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. You're very sweet, and we love you. <clears throat> Cyrax, are you? Look, these guys are developmentally challenged. Shani's not gonna. Shani took care of people like that. She's not gonna be with one. How does anyone pick a, How does anyone have a pick of Cyrax's thing? Scary. Uh, I don't know. I think Only fans? I think Ashley seduced him. Oh yeah. Oh my god. It, it, what it, I saw was in her language. Oh yeah. If 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 she put on, if she put on uh he would go for that. She may not even look like that. She could be a catfish and put post in someone else's face. No, 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 it's her. She she just put on some weight from when she was a model. So, and she feels ugly now, whatever. Well, good for her. Yeah. What's a Cyrax? Oh, I, it's under Sherry Woody. That, that's us. Yep. That's us, Bradley. Thank you. That's us. We we ha we have it not under her uh, uh, either of her names for privacy reasons. We've been harassed really bad. Cyrax is a con content creator on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of those parts of the underbelly of ugh. ugh. Gross tube. Like Cobra. They tried to hook me yes. up with Cobra. Too. Yes. Ew. Yes, they want the 
They always say to Cobra like, that he... Holy shit, dude. They always say to Cobra that he needs to find a hot goth girl to be with. That's the deal. So for some reason, they go to you. He ain't my type. There you go, see. He's a crazy YouTuber. Yeah, I don't know what his shit is. I, 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 Cyrax's deal. I've heard his name a couple times. I, yeah, I'm sorry, Lee Bradley, yeah. About that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Crazy YouTuber. That's... I don't know his deal. What the hell kind of content he has at all. I I have no idea. We got blessed, so I have some cigarettes. That's like... Geez. So, like, I don't... Like, I... I... Ugh. Yeah. I, no. The rest of the word on that is like, yeah, Cyrax is a former content creator. To see Cyrax, you have to go on Music Biz Marty's channel. Okay, there you go, if you want to see about Cyrax. I, when I heard his name, I'm like, why would you gank the name of a Mortal Kombat character? Right. Cyrax is one of the Cyber Ninja dudes. They're Cyber Cyborgs. Cobra has a woman now. That's great, good. That's awesome for him. I'm happy to thank you for saying that, yeah, Kate. Hopefully, Katie. you know, they 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 love each other and everything goes good with them. Oh, I heard that, Rach. He's the P word. I thought so. Yeah, I heard that. Thanks. That style I remember. Oh uh, well, jokes on him and all the other P words out there. My sons are too old for you now. So, ha, 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 ha. Anyway, mm. had to say that. My sons are men now. Yeah. So, kiss my butt. You don't want that old, you know. They go stale at 13. <laughs> Who's a raging alco? Really? Gross. Gross. He got caught talking to a 14 year old, etc. So Ew. that's disgusting. Chris Hansen, everyone. That's disgusting. Ugh. Shani has standards. Mm-hmm. I think the only reason sent happy anniversary to you two. Well, you're a lovely person, Bradley. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, God. That's so gross, man. He should be locked up. Yes, People like this need to have their own island. They really do. Because you got Pat Oswald going out, uh, you know, that the comedian Pat Oswald, and he's like, well, we're people too. We just happen to want to have sex with children. Yeah, you need your own world. Thank you, Rach. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Now Queen Cobes is more of a curse disguised as a blessing. Now, Queen Cobes. Now, oh, that's his girl? Okay. Is she a goth chick? Did he get a goth girl? He looks like he would be. That's his thing, definitely. I hope he got one. Yeah, me too. I hope she's hot. I hope she's real hot. I really hope that for him. Because these people are so disgusting. This guy obviously... Has problems. He's, 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 whatever. I don't want to say the R word. That's not, it's horrible to say. I don't, no, he, he's whatever. Okay. And they, you know that this is the reason that they cover him. Yeah. I hope he gets the hottest fucking goth girl possible. I do like August the Duck's take on his food. Well, I'll try and find it, but let me see. Okay, cool. No, she's not goth. Oh, okay. Search her on YouTube. It's bad. <laughs> okay. Oh no! Well, no, it was it's the a only. It are was, you saying it's a fake? She's fake being with him. 
and she's really just really she's not a goth person he took first bite he could get in my opinion and you say that she's playing him my god oh <laughs> that really sucks that poor guy that really really sucks before shani i had the opportunity to be with about four other women and five maybe six i'm trying to be really you play boy you... over the years well this is over a span of like 12 years I, I... okay <laughs> and for like four of them were the internet four and then two in real life am i one of them yeah, including you. Okay. Yeah. No, before you. Oh, before me. Yeah, before okay. you. You you were the one that just said, you threw your gauntlet down and said, fuck you, and he came out. <laughs> oh, God, seven, because I forgot Nancy. Oh, my God, Nancy. Do you remember Nancy? The story about Nancy? That poor woman. I hope she's okay. I think I... she came to my house, too. Probably not. No, there was a woman that looked just like Nancy. That no, she like loves him, apparently. But she has demons she needs to work on. Oh, okay. So she does love him. Good. Absolutely, definitely not normal passing out in full bathtub because you're so drunk. That's bad. Oh, you're talking to someone. And when I see the ad, I shouldn't read that. Sorry. I got to get back on the horse with streaming deal. So that I'm good at it, you know. Uh, I feel really bad for these people that they target in this way. Because they're just trying to live their fucking life. And, and it's hard for anybody to be under a microscope. But these people are literally, like, ch challenged. They have... I don't... I hate saying that. Because it sounds like I'm calling them the R word, you know. And I don't mean that. They just... They have their own Issues. challenges. Yeah, like Asperger people. It's, my my Zachary. For yeah. Instance. Yeah, you got to give them a break. Not the most romantic, but get some Taco Bell. Sweet. Yeah, that would be sick to get some Taco Bell. Yeah. Nacho. I love the quesadillas. They're fries. Oh. Oh, do they have them now? The fries? Might have to order Taco Bell right now. Well, let's just finish this and then we'll do it. Yeah, we're going to think about that. Because the yeah. fourth meal, 4 a.m. I think they're open till 4. Yeah. I yeah. think. Fourth meal. Fourth meal. <laughs> That's what they call it. They do call it that. No. Fourth meal. Yeah, it's on the no. commercials. Oh. Uh, yeah. Really? Yes. Oh. I didn't know. I, was, I ain't I, lying. I haven't paid attention to a commercial in so long. Dude, we had cheesesteaks for our anniversary dinner. That kicks ass. If Mainline was open, I'd get cheese. Oh, my God. Their cheesesteak is so fun. I don't know. Oh. I've had that. Sliced alone is so oh, good. Man. You know, you know, I never had cheesesteak so good. You know? Yeah, I saw the stream. She apologized for it today. I think uh, that's a tagged comment. Stop. LOL anniversary dinner. Absolutely. I really wish I wish I could get a mainline hoagie right now. A cheesesteak. Oh. <laughs> it's so good. Hey, Domino's ain't that bad either. Oh. You're like no pizza, Shannon. No. You always have pizza, Shannon. Why pizza? It's always pizza. God, <laughs> I sound like a like a valley girl. God, you always want pizza. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. You know you're getting old when you're stuck in your ways. That's true. Uh, what time is it in the U.S. A two p.m. in Austria? You're an Aussie. All right, raise you. 10, no, 2 p.m. <clears throat> Thank you, Rogue. 
you know, I was looking on that Ramstein CD. It's not all the albums. It's like it's weird. It like areas. does it have on a dish? I don't know. It's got a few songs. I didn't. I don't know what happened. I'll ha it might if I put it on the computer. Oh, we don't have the CD drive anymore. Shit. Forget it. Get a heart shaped pizza. That would be awesome. Valentine's Day, baby. That's some sweet shit. Thank you, Brad. Seriously. That was, a, that was a, almost a month away. Or almost a month ago. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. I want to say happy Ramadan to my Muslim brothers and sisters. Yeah. By the way. That's cool. Ramadan is the time for charity and forgiveness. Yeah. And I very much appreciate that that holiday for that reason. The one song, I would just put it on repeat. Ramstein Mir, M-E-H-R, Mir. That, yeah. that song hits so fucking hard, you want to literally punch the shit out of your steering wheel. I want to play it just once on here when I, we're off. Just once. That shit is so hard. Okay, can we do it tomorrow when I'm a little oh, bit more awake? Whatever. What? I'm Never old. Do anything. You you know what I mean about the hard Fuck. thing and I'm like serious. how rock is getting harder for you to listen to because of the hard thing. Like Do you think Biden should uh step down and let someone else run against Trump? Uh That is not a question that should be asked of me because I am a registered Republican. Uh, but you could ask Shani what she thinks. What do you think? I'm a registered independent. Well, you're not registered anywhere right now. Well, but I was in North Carolina and okay. Minnesota. Okay. Well, do you want to comment? Because you're more qualified to comment on that than me. I'm a Republican. You don't want to say anything? Dude. You want to say nothing? Listen. Yeah. Let Biden do what the fuck he wants. He's going to die soon. They're just asking for your opinion. Do you know how... Uh, just listen. Do you know how awesome it would be to die while you're president? That's an awesome story. That will go down in history. <laughs> I'm all for Biden. Oh, there's an example. See, this person risen. Rev, your girlfriend was cheating on you in Cyrax. Oh, my God. That is so fucking hilarious. That's hilarious. Oh my god. We share the same phone, dude. He would know that stuff. Could you tell me when that happened, please? Yeah, when did it happen? What do you know about my life? In what hour of the day did that happen? Yeah. Please, will you tell me that? Because I'm here an awful lot for now. Because I, I, you know. <laughs> Watch him say when you were working. Yeah, right. Where the fuck does Cyrax live? I don't know, and I don't uh, care. Does Cyrax live here? Is Cyrax living in northeastern Pennsylvania? Uh? Are you out there in Tennessee? Where, where Cyrax at? Ah, give this video. To me, he I looks like you. a Washington type of person. Washington? Yeah. Maybe. That's where most of the pervs are. Next state over, Ohio. Okay, he drove... What would that be? Four hours to fucker? Okay. Give me some proof. Send me the pictures. Ew, no. I don't want to see those. Ew. You got photographic fucking proof? No, they don't. <laughs> they have to spread freaking rumors because they're pathetic idiots. But with these guys, it's not even realistic. No. Like with Tragic, I would have been worried maybe. Because he's, he's, he was a fucking underwear model. Like, yeah. I'd be kind of maybe like, holy shit. 
near Columbus, I think. He can't drive. He has scabs on his head. What? Stop. Stop making fun of him. This isn't oh right. Oh, my God. This isn't right. Come Why on. does it have to turn into that? Come on. Don't be children. Yeah, I'm done with that. Yeah, um, that's not right. I'm done with that. That's not right. If he's mentally ill and has disabilities, I don't want to make fun of someone like that. No, I mean... That's not right. No. Think if he were your son. Like, come on. Think, if, think if that man was your son. Like, you wouldn't want people doing that. No. That's not kind. I'm not that type of person. You ain't getting me to do that. That ain't nice. But the whole point that I made this video was to discuss with Christians the next to impossibility to be holy in the modern world. And I believe that's the case. You can try your damnedest. And the best way to deal with it is go to be a fucking monk if you're a male, you know, or a nun if you're a woman. But no, don't be a nun because you're going to probably get our word. If he was my son, he would be in a group home. Yeah, there you go. That's that would be very good for him to that, be. I, I don't know anything about the dude. I wouldn't say he needs to be in a group home because I don't know who he is. That's true. I don't really I know, don't who he is know who he is. I know is. how he looks. Yeah. And no. That's Thank you. I'm, I, sh I'm, I'm sure there can be someone else that can take that. That's a no. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I, I have this beefy man right here. Why would I want Cyrus? I don't Like, know. You, you never downgrade, you upgrade. Shit. I don't know. And it, it's like. Oh it, my God. High corner girl. High corner girl. Hi. It's like, Seriously. It's pretty hard to upgrade to someone who looks like you. <laughs> so, like, you know, I have I, a code. You upgrade, you don't downgrade. I can't help that the Lord wanted to try and cry, make another version of like Shawn Michaels, you know? Like, yeah. So, like, you know, I can't help that. It's his deal. <laughs> Ah, son of a I'm so bitch. Done with that shit. <laughs> We're living on one USB C. Yeah, it's ah. Uh, the ports are messed up. It stuff gets old. That's all there is to it. <laughs> but anyway, Paul, I think Paul's solution for most people at this point, because it's so sex is in your face all day, every day. Yep. I think his main solution would be at this point, you you either get married as soon as you can or castrate yourself because you're going to sin in this world. You go on TikTok and it's not even, it doesn't have to, it's not porn or nothing, but it's so... In your face. Yes. And asses because it's legal. And I'm not anti-porn or anything. I'm not. I think porn is destructive to the male. Very. But the, I would not ban it. I don't think that that's lawful to do. I think it's a violation of the First Amendment because it's art, essentially. To a lot of people, it is art. And I, I think it, I, man, there's some beautiful fucking lesbian videos I've seen. Wow. Uh, that's art to me. So, yeah. And you go homosexuality, you're going to hell. Shut up. Okay. You need to sit the fuck down in the pew and stop talking because you don't know of what you speak. When homosexuality was talked about in the New Testament, it's all about temple prostitution and it has nothing to do with homosexuality. Well, the, the effeminate don't inherit the kingdom of God. You really need to look at the Greek. Okay? There's way more. Having to do, you know what a what it means to be effeminate, to have a whimperist as a male. It means you can't take charge and do something about a problem. That's effeminate. 
Not that you're all, oh, you're gay. No, that's not the word. Go to the Greek. Homosexuals can go to heaven. I'll say that again. Homosexuals can go to heaven with Jesus. End of story. Stop condemning. Trans will go to heaven if they have Jesus Christ. Because someone thinks they're a woman in a man's body or a, woman, a man in a woman's body, how does that damn them to hell? That's stupid fucking thinking. Their brain tells them this. Their consciousness, their soul tells them they're the wrong gender. How does that put you in hell? It doesn't. You know how they'll go to hell if they don't know Jesus. And what are you doing all day, the holy Christian? There are transgenders in my kids' schools. And they got them transgendered agenda with the homosexualities. You don't even know how to spell the words. You're simple-minded, basically beasts. Yeah, but I got Jesus. Yeah, you do. That's good. But you're in sin still. You know why? Because you're condemning people. You're hating people. The Pharisees condemn people. You come with the gospel of Jesus on your fucking feet. You should be inviting people in, not on your pushing foots. them away. On your foots. You put the gospel of Christ on your feet. You're not going to be telling people they're going to fucking hell. You're going to pick them up off the ground. But you ain't going to hell. Jesus Christ doesn't condemn people. Yeah, like Christina Blackfeather, she ain't going to hell because she's wicked. You know why? Hmm. Because my ass is going to take her by the arm and say, come on, sister, let's go see Jesus. Oh, exactly. She's in because I love her very much. <gasps> very much I love Christina. Yeah, she's a beautiful person. She is. She's an angel. She just believes a little differently. Jesus condemned people like Trump. Jesus condemned the arrogant, the the haughty, these fucks. You know, I got this coat on, and everybody loves this coat. Like people are like, "Wow, where did you get that?" I'm like, Instagram. Yeah, eighty bucks. That's <laughs> why I tell everybody, eighty bucks Instagram, and I think they got girly colors too because women just grab me. Like this middle aged woman that was at Pop Pops. I didn't say, tell you this at Pop Pops. She was like, probably 50, you know, and, and she, she just came right up to me and she's like, wow, this is hot. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, oh, thank you. I didn't want to be offensive, but it was like, Jesus, <laughs> that's forward, you know, maybe she cougar. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you're right about mm -hmm. that, but that's like, God. You can't just grab me? Like, that's male. That's, that's sexual assault. Uh, technically, but I would never. That's, come on. I'm just saying. Rev, the Norwegian girl you were receiving nude pics from the catfish Cyvrax, you and him are about to, as gullible as the other. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I was talking to her about her ex-husband being bad. And uh, we talked about being into horror movies and shit. That was all I, literally all and I. And then she started sending nudes. Yeah, out, and out you saw, blue. she saw them first. I was seeing every message he was getting and receiving. Yes, everything. She was there from the beginning. We video chatted once and Shani was right here. I never talked to her privately. Once, I never once talked to her privately. The email was written here. I was, I never talked to her privately. Uh, if I, look, if I sent a dick pic, I was done. That's it. You know, obviously, like, yeah, it's send me your shit. I think you're hot. That's a dick pic is that. Send me your shit. Here's my shit, you know.
No. Well, Cyrus took the bait. Oh, yeah. Because I had to see his Are you frickin- kidding me? I had to see the shit. She sent me a picture of his... Uh, I hate getting unsolicited dick pics. I hate it. Shanny. What? If a guy that looks like Cyrax gets pics from a girl that looks like her, that's his dream come true. He had to fucking realize he was being catfished. Because no, Ashley is not ugly. No way. She ain't ugly. Yeah, but she a catfish. She yeah, it's not. Yeah, now. absolutely. She, that, it's, it's set. So it's set ups and shit like that. Yeah, she sets people up. That's yeah. gross. And that's also illegal in your country. Mm-hmm. You, you felon? Uh, I don't know about that. Mm-hmm. Men are horny. Norway, Sweden, all the... Um, those type of countries, they yeah. all have internet harassment laws that are very hard on people. Right. Because of the suicide rates. Yeah, I know that. Mm-hmm. Well, that's true. So, you want to mess with a man's heart and and screw around Well, no, the, what I find even more disgusting is you claim to be Christian. You know, yeah. You can't... Look, marriage is a sacred thing. And if two people are not receptive to the alternative forms of marriage, uh, we're just done there, okay? It's not something that, that you pursue any longer, okay? And, and, and sending nudes and stuff, that's not Christian. You're in sin. That's, you're, you're, you're actively participating in sin. It's not good for your soul. Well, also, you sending me a naked picture of you doesn't do anything to me mm-hmm. because I was a home health worker. I've seen hundreds of naked bodies and watched them. I don't look at bodies in a sexual way because I was trained not to look at things like that in a sexual way. I actually look at the human body in a very scientific way. But are pe- are there are people that I find more beautiful than others? Absolutely. But that's just about taste Come on. And, and, and just opinion. Look, attractiveness, they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Mm-hmm. However, there are some cases that, objectively speaking, some are more attractive than others. Yes, maybe. No, definitely. And that's where you get Hollywood stars. Yeah. That's what they, that's their appearance. Their money comes from their appearance. That's true. That's it. So that's fine. There's nothing bad about that, actually. You're just, you're just looking at the beauty of someone and going, wow. That's That's awesome. That's God's creation. That's true. Marveling at the beauty of look, oh, wow, look at that. It's just like looking at a star for me. On Instagram, I I get a lot of bride pictures and yeah. a lot of fashion pictures, and I just I admire people's beauty. Yeah, I, I I I even have a lot of celebrities that I follow on Instagram. Yeah, you know, and I just I just look at them like Elle magazine or you know just fashion. I I've always liked fashion. I was a model, so. Oh, it just, like, I look at things differently than other people, in a sense. Uh, But sending me nudes ain't going to do anything for me. I I have to look at someone's heart. And if you're, you're the type of person who tries to scam men... While others that you're in the crowd are saying these people are scammers and they're not. I, I really, but I you're have... the one who's actually scamming men yeah. trying to send nudes and get in there naked so you can get them in trouble with their wives. It's... That makes you a horrible, terrible person. Especially if you're claiming to be Christian. Whoa. That makes you deceivious. No, no, no. That's harlot. The yeah, that's Jezebel territory. Really bad. 
You don't want to be that. That's that's Delilah territory. You're gonna get extremely judged. Y yeah, just like no. Okay. That's succubus type stuff. Look, you better pray that you find someone that can deliver you of your succubus spirit. Breaking up marriages is very demonic. I know you think it's funny and shit, and all of this is really fucking funny, but I'm telling you that if you took a, a, a good bond that two people had that are both Christian, which we are, uh, and you broke that bond, that Jesus sees that. If you believe in Jesus at all, you know he sees it. You know it. Okay? He ain't going to let that go. Because Yanni and I really do have a good thing. We both have issues, and we can support each other really well. Yeah, we do that sometimes, but it's going to happen. That's just every marriage that the people don't have mental illness. That happens. So... But marriage is a great thing because it teaches you patience, number one. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but the, 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 the end of the day, the, my answer to you as a Christian, if especially if you're a male, because I'm male. I'm a straight male. My, I, I really, brother... I don't really have a good answer for you because all of these guys that are Christians and I'm sure that there's plenty of male Christians in the United States of America and it's worldwide really all this is a worldwide issue because you have TikTok and Instagram and then there's probably thousands of these dating apps and all of this stuff. I'm sure Pornhub has a, has an app now. I don't know. I don't did not looked it up. Uh, they do. There you go. This stuff, in terms of sexual sin, which is one of the ones that can really lead to horrible shit, uh, disease, all of it. Okay. Wrath, murder, vengeance, uh, jealousy, all of that. Yeah, and more. Uh, what the hell happened? I could have sworn I had a cigarette. I'm sorry. I'm just really... I just wrapped this up. Because I, I, I don't have much left to say. I don't have a good answer for you. Because... Well, part of it would be... Don't be subscribed. I know what, I know what you're seeing, okay? Because I see it. And, 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 and every time it's a vexation of spirit. Because I want to remain faithful in mine too. But the explicivity is it's not censored in any way. And it's filmed in such ways that your mind will be touched by this shit. Don't. As much as you might be tempted because, man, she's really fucking hot. Yeah, I get you. Okay? Do not click the follow button. If it just happens to pop up in your shit, delete it from your cerebral cortex immediately. That's how you're going to keep your mind holy. And don't follow the accounts. As tempting as a straight guy as it might be, I get you. Don't do it. And especially if you're married. If you're single, you're going to have a greater leash. Because maybe one of those chicks might be a Christian girl and you just hit the jackpot. You hit that fucking DM. You guys should have been okay. too bad at attraction. All right. Because huh? even even the fallen angels were tempted by women. Oh, I get it. I get it too much. I really like women, and if I were a different person, I'd be a hoe. I would be a player. But God protected me from that for whatever reason. That's in his, my life journey is his deal. I don't know what the hell it is. I think it's because you're too nice of a guy. Ah, God. You, you say that now. 
uh, no, I am not perfect. Okay. Mm -mm. So. No, I know that, dear. So, it's not that. He, I'm chosen, I guess. He, he chooses whom he chooses. That's right. This Moses could be, he had a stutter. That's right. <laughs> and he wrote the law. <laughs> Moses had a stutter. Where's the wire? Well, he didn't write in a stutter, dear. No. But he was what you would call challenged. Yeah. He wasn't perfect, man. Mm -hmm. Abraham, yeah, that's my wife. <laughs> No, that's my sister. Yeah, they have her. To Pharaoh. Oh, battery's probably about to die. Because Pharaoh thought she was hot, you know? So he's like, yeah, that's my sister, man. You can have a piece of that. You want that? Let me check that real quick. Yeah, I know. It's, you're right. Okay. I'll, I guess. Okay, see you guys. <laughs> All right. He's not done talking, don't worry. Not yet. We're almost done. Okay, so Abraham, he's like, yeah, that ain't my wife. You can you can check her out if you want. He was a bit deceptive, okay? The point is all of them. Could you please? Yeah, sorry. Uh, so the end of it is this. Don't consume this stuff if you can. And I'm talking about shows like Spartacus. Don't consume it. Show uh, a movie like Secretary. Don't consume it. Um, I'm trying to think of other stuff. If it involves R word scenes, don't consume it. If you're into violent pornography, stop. Pray to have it leave you. It's evil. It leads to thoughts of the the thoughts of violence lead to wanting to forcefully do stuff. Put yourself on a female. I'm talking to the males. Ted Bundy warned of that in his last interview. Yes, he did, and he was correct, and I think God put that in his mouth because he was so repulsive. Mhm. Mm Okay, this guy came back to the bodies of the women to have sex with them again. After he had murdered them, four days later. That's right. He would screw the bodies four days later. This guy was demon-possessed. And I think at the end of his life, he was probably almost repentant and okay with Christ. And he's like, listen, violent pornography is destroying males. Yes, because it's taking an act of love that's a gift from God and turning it into a perversion that some women now want. That means society is, look, there's a movement out there that wants to legalize our word. Ooh, it's really big in hentai and in the Asian world. They have fantasies of legalizing our so, you need to keep your mind clean. And the way to do that is not easy to tell you. You're going to see stuff. My best advice to you is do your best to take the mental picture that you just got, because I know you do it, everybody that's a guy that likes women a lot, goes, whoa, when they go back to the, across the street, you're like, wow. You take that mental image you just took and delete it. You pray to Jesus Christ, go, you cross yourself and go, Father, I sinned, and then delete it. That's my best advice to you. And do not follow any cam girls, uh, like cute bot on Twitch, her, don't follow that shit. Amaranth is cool and everything. I'm not anti this stuff. I want you to understand that. I'm not telling you that I think Amaranth shouldn't be able to make videos and stuff like that. No. I'm telling you for the mental health and spiritual health of a Christian man, especially if you're married. If you're not married, you got a lot more chain.
But even in that, be careful. Because, because, you know, you could start idealizing one girl and then you get obsessed and then well, you got a problem, okay? Get married. If you're really into girls and you're a Christian guy, get married. And then focus all your sexual attention on your marriage. This is really good. Someone, some guy needs to hear this. And it's going to be hard because even your girl, like with Shani, Shani likes Spartacus. Shani likes a movie like The Secretary. Uh, and I just can't do it. Because to me... I like the movie Unfaithful. Right. To me, this is toxic to my spirit. Yeah, and to me, it's just watching a story. Okay. It's what it is. It's a story. has no effect on me. I'm just watching the freaking thing just to watch it. Some, some, some males would probably agree with you there. But other males would say... It's a stumbling block for you. You put people, some people put themselves in the shoes of what they're watching. And internalize it. And I think I'm like that. I kind of put myself in, okay, so you have James Spader with, with Maggie Gyllenhaal. And you have this situation where he's like, yeah, I'm going to take a piece of this. So he grabs her into an office and starts spanking her. And it's very, very erotic and sexual. Extremely what people would call hot. You have a person like me that internalizes that. And then I start maybe fantasizing about something like that. It's unhealthy. For his man's spiritual walk. A man. That wants to be holy. Because I, uh, I... I want to attain holiness in that way. I get you. That's it. Because when I say I like women, I really do. That's what I'm saying. So guys, you got get married or put a fucking chastity belt on. <laughs> because you're going to sin if you don't. And New York City, 